and welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be creating this look that i'm wearing right now we are using the beauty bay and earthy and fiery palette for today's look yeah i'm going to go and take some photos hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all soon okay so as you can see i've done my brows and one eye so we're just gonna do the other eye together so i'm taking my be perfect stacy marie brush I believe it's 409 it is see i know my brush is off by that now and we're just literally gonna pop uh so i'm using my p louise base sorry in 0 0.5 so yeah i know my brush is off by heart okay so i've done that and as you can see i took it under my lower lash line as well so i'm using my beauty crap concealer brush and i'm just literally buffing out those creases Okay, so we're taking the furry palette first. This is going to be the main palette that we will be using. Okay, so, sorry, I'm expecting a delivery again. So on a BP, Be Perfect BPE 18 brush, we are taking the shade Wood. I'm popping this on the outer corner in a diagonal. way love it okay so on a spectrum b11 we are taking the shade wine and we're just gonna buff that first shade out we are taking it towards the inner corner but we're not gonna go all the way into the inner corner okay so now we look dramatic we're gonna go back in with that first brush and the shade wood just to build this back up because we've lost it and without having, um, adding any extra shadow we are going to go back and blend that out love it okay so on another be perfect brush so it's bpe 08 we are taking the shade um pumpkin i really hope it's pumpkin because i can't remember what shade it is and we are literally just blending that out, that wine shade out even more. Love it. Okay, so on a Be Perfect Stacey Marie 205 brush, we are taking the shade Blonde. And we are blowing this look out dramatically. Like, it won't be my look if it's not dramatic okay so we're going to go back through all those shades so just a little bit of wood because we did build up the pigment not long ago like so then back in with wine love it okay so back in with pumpkin and then back in with blonde I did go in with P. Louise base, but not white like I have been. I went in with the 0 0.5 and I just created the, a half cut crease. And I didn't take it as high as I used as I usually do, sorry. Love it. Do you know what? I think this is the first time I've got my cut creases to match. Okay, so back in with those shades again. Well, not all of them. So we're going to go back in with wood and just blend those edges together like so then with wine love it okay now on a be perfect stacy marie 201 brush we are taking the shade spice i feel like i've got a hair on my face i can't find it i'm like trying to look for it in the mirror as well as watching what i'm doing but I can't find it. I love it. So on a P. Louise E9 brush, we are taking the shade Blonde. And this is going to go in a inner corner. I'm going to go back in with the shade uh, Wine just to build up uh, that purple contrast. Because it seems to have gotten lost. Okay, so... 
I went in with my liner. So I'm using my Makeup Revolution X Roxy liner. So, oh no, I didn't do my liner first. I went in with black shadow. So on a Jess Up 237 brush, I took the shade Raven. I'm just going to put that lid back on because I know what I'm like. And I just deepened up this outer corner a little bit. And then we went in with the liner. And I took it all the way to where that black starts. So I didn't do my wing. And then back in with that brush and the shade Raven, we used it to set our wing. Well, our half wing. Love it. Okay, so that palette is done for now. Okie dokie, so that's all done. So for primer, oh, I forgot about my coffee. Oh, can't do that. I have quite a, a selection of primers and I just, do you know what we're gonna use? We're gonna use Makeup Obsessions Picture Perfect. Apparently this one has a lot to say for itself. I can hear it screeching. We just blend this in. Okay, okay, right, we'll give that a second. We have another coffee break. Actually, I'm just going to use it because I didn't put it away. So I'm going to use my Iconic London foundation again. I need to get more Makeup Revolution foundation because um, the shades that I have do not match for some reason. <laughs> Which doesn't make sense because I've always been F2. And now it's too light. And then I've got F3. And then I put it on when I was just like messing around with the makeup. And it looked like it was my perfect match. And then I put it on to go out the other day. I, worked this, I think it was Saturday. Anyway. And it was too dark. Like literally too dark. So I need to get some like in between shades. Okay, so now the foundation is all on and blended. It's actually a really nice foundation. It's lightweight. I don't actually know if it's full coverage. Um, it's blurring skin tint. So I say that's light to medium coverage. But I, I actually really like it. Usually I'm a full coverage type of girl. Um, still am to be honest. But I do like this foundation. I do like the uh, MAC one. There's a smell to it. But I do like the smell. But I'm weird. So that cuts that out doesn't it. Okay. So um, contour. So I can either go in with the foundation stick. Which I am. I like I've wore it down to the point of non-existence. So look, that's as far as it goes. <laughs> this one is too light. Okay, I've got the camouflage concealer palette, so I'm just gonna use this, I think. Okay, so I need a brush. I'm just gonna use this one. So I'm using a Be Perfect BPD03. And I am taking uh this just here I really want nails on <clears throat> but when I have nails on I'm just like I can't do anything but I do I do like having nails on I'm just like I can't can't do anything okay I probably should use a smaller brush for my nose but see I've got the drops here it's like crazy okay so I'm just going to use the brush that I used do I have me other one where's oh there you are that I use for my primer just to blend this out. It's blended out quite nicely. I should keep them out just in case I need to add a little bit more. Okay, for concealer, I am going to go in with C1. One of these needs to be in the bin because it's practically empty. I think it's you. Yeah, it's you. Right, I have to take the watts out to finish that up. Anybody 
girls are having problem with their TikTok app. I can't open mine. I shouldn't like. It should be a problem because I haven't uploaded a TikTok in uh, ages. But I was gonna um. See if I can save some of my TikTok videos and post them as my YouTube short shorts. Um. But yeah, I can't open my app at all. Okay, so I'm going with my blender. This is a new blender. It's from Spectrum. I got it from like um, one of their sets from the TikTok shop. Oh, that's another thing. I won't be able to get onto the TikTok shop. I can access it on um, the internet, like my computer. But, you know, it's just handy on the app, you know. So who's looking forward to the season changing? Because it's the 1st of October, ne well, as of Sunday. But next week, it's the first week of October. I am hoping to do some Halloween content. So let me know in the comments, like, what kind of Halloween looks would you like to see? Uh, I do enjoy doing uh, special effects type of makeup. Um, I do have, like, the product already so i can get a start but i've already got some um waiting where i get my stuff from i get it from all over it all depends where has the good deals you know i don't pay full price i wait for a sale or something um liquid blush we nearly forgot well i nearly forgot but yeah so like my latex and the fake blood um, I do have it already, so I can make a start, do like a few looks, because um, I only got like little bottles of latex, whereas I'm going to order like a large bottle. Um, so the little bottles don't last very long. Well, they last longer than what you think, to be honest, but yeah, I'm hoping to do a lot more than what I have been. Um, I could do some Halloween glam. Um, but you know... Yeah, just let me know in the comments what what you'd like to see and what would you like. Would you like an in-depth tutorial or would you like um, a chat, a chatty tutorial so you can see what I'm doing but not as much me telling you how to do it, if that makes any sense. Okay, so now we're going to coffee break. Now we're going to coffee break. We're going to go in with a lighter one. So this is... Makeup Revolution because I want to find C01. Love it. Right, we're just going to go lightly back in with the bronzer. Do the build up the pigmentation. Oh, love it. Love it. Okay, setting my eyes. So I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution uh, Glam Mood Press Powder in Lace. Moving on. We are going to go in with, I'm not using my beauty bay, take note, take note, we are going to go in with the Revolution Pro bronzing palette in Cool, and we're going to take the first shade, or the lightest shade in there, and my Be Perfect Stacey Marie 105 brush, okay, so we're going to go in with the Makeup Revolution uh, Blush Dream palette. I haven't used this in ages. And we are going to go in with this shade just here. That's just like my perfect shade. I don't like a lot of blush. Okay, so we are going to go in with the Beauty Bay Earthy Palette. And we are taking the shade Shamrock. I am blind as a bat without my glasses on. So if I mispronounce names or anything like that, you know why. So we are going to line my lower lash line. Like so. On the same brush, we are taking Ivy. And we just literally go in on top of that shade we just placed like so love it okay so on a smudger brush we are taking ivy but only the smallest amount and 
we are smudging that shade out. Okay, so on the same brush, we are taking the shamrock. And we are smudging these two shades together. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so on a Be Perfect Stacey Marie uh, 302, we are going back into the Fiery Palette. And we are taking the shade Sherbet. Load that brush up. Get as much shadow on there as possible. And that is going on the inner corner all the way down to meet that green. Okay, so on the brush that we used for pumpkin, we are going to take pumpkin. So it's, it's a BPE08. And we're just going to join the top to the bottom oh my god okay so on the be perfect stacy marie 205 we are taking the shade blonde and we are going all the way to the hairline i have no idea what was happening to my voice then don't ask because i i have absolutely no idea maybe i shouldn't have three coffees I'm using my Urban Decay Ultra Matte All Nighter Spray. Oh, do you know I left my fan in the living room? Okay, so I'm using my Revolution Pro Luster Highlighter. This is in Golden Rose. Look how beautiful she is. Like, I got it just because it's a rose. Yes, I did. 699 brush. And we're just going to load that up. We need a smaller brush as well, don't we? Okay, so that's all loaded. So I'm going to take a Jessup 237. I'm just going to do again. I'm going to do my brow highlighter first. So I'm just going to... Okay, so now we do it everywhere else. Waterline. I'm going to shock you all again. I'm going to go in with a nude. I think it's like a glittery nude. Or it's just the... Um, the um, packaging it's got a shine to it so we will find out so I'm just gonna do my uh, waterline and my lashes off camera and probably my lips actually so I'm just gonna finish off the face and I should come back when it's all completed okay so this is what the finished look looks like I'm actually really impressed with how it um, came came out I, I love it I absolutely love it I can't wait to uh, take loads of pictures um, I keep taking photos in the uh, intention of putting them on Instagram, but I'm very bad at keeping my Instagram like updated. Same with TikTok. I haven't posted a TikTok video in what seems like forever. It don't help that my app is not loaded on my phone, but that's not the point. Like I haven't uploaded a TikTok, like I said, since the last time I uploaded one. But anyway, so yeah, this is what the, the lot uh, came out like. And using the Beauty Bait Fiery and Earthy palettes. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Also let me know in the comments what look you'd like to see next. And what palette you would like to see used. That's it from me. I'm going to go. And I'll see you all in my next one. Take care.